Doom is a first-person shooter developed by id Software with the first release date of December 10, 1993. The plot centers around a space marine, appropriately named Doom Guy, as he fights his way through the demonic horde from hell. I won't give away the whole story because it's quite complicated, but let's just say that Phobos and Deimos need a hero. Speaking of story, Doom made history in 1993 when it was released to the public. For those who aren't familiar, here's a quick lesson. Following Wolfenstein 3D's success in May of 1992, id started brainstorming ideas for their next game. John Carmack concentrated on technology research for their next big game. Tom Hall proposed Commander Keen, but Carmack refused due to a platformer being a poor choice. John Romero and Adrian Carmack wanted something darker than Commander Keen. Carmack came up with the idea of using technology to fight demons along with mixing Dungeons and Dragons campaigns and styles of Evil Dead 2 and Aliens. While the original title was going to be Green and Pissed, John suggested Doom instead. And in November 1992, development of Doom began and it only took five people to get the job done. Doom was first released as shareware the following year and was a huge success. No wonder this game is considered one of the most important games in history. While still young in 1993, Doom also introduced 3D graphics, online multiplayer, and player modifications called WADs. Despite all this success, there is a dark side to this story. The most notable would be its use of graphic violence and satanic imagery. This also led to Doom getting the M rating from the ESRB. Of course, this was just the beginning of the controversy. This also led to criticism by various religious groups for its diabolic undertones and dubbed as a mass murder simulator and also prompted fear that virtual reality technology would be used to simulate realistic killing. This can be summed up in one word. Exactly. Now let's fast forward to April 20th, 1999 in Columbine, Colorado. Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, two high school seniors and avid Doom players, planned the massacre due to being inspired by Doom. Of course, taking a quote from Harris's journal, the killings would be like playing Doom and it'll be like the LA riots, Oklahoma bombing, World War II, Vietnam, Duke Nukem, and Doom all mixed together. There was a rumor that the Doom levels Harris created centered on the high school have the NPCs represent students and teachers and he would practice his role for the shootings over again and again. Of course, some time later, this was proven to be false and the Harris levels can still be played to this very day. The cherry on top of the controversy is that games like Doom contribute to violent behaviors. I don't know how this started, but it's been disproven that games like Doom trigger violent behaviors. The real question remains, is this game still worth playing to this day? Stick around for part two for the answers.